Hey everyone, it's me. Everyone knows Dave. And as always, I have a question. Are you tired of finding nothing but useless garbage on your server? Does your server have less AKs than the United Kingdom? Well, in this video, we're going to teach you what the types file is. How it controls your loot, how it stops things despawning, how it can make new things spawn, and how you can control where and when and how much of each type of loot. Now isn't that smart? Also, to clarify, I will be showing you two different ways to do this. I do suggest you watch both and pick whichever one is easier for you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the actual types file. Now, I will start by showing how to do it on dedicated, and then I'll show you where the file is on rented as well. So on dedicated, it is in your MP missions, whatever your map name is. Um, I'm going to go for Cherno because it's easier. And your DB folder, and there it is, types. Uh, now, if you're on rented, you go to, I'm going to use Nitrado for an example here, you go to your file browser here, you go to your Daisy standalone, which takes a minute to load, isn't that fun? And then you find your MP missions, which is there. You find your map, which is Cherno, in your DB, and there's your types which you can now see, you can then download this, uh, make all your changes in exactly the same way that we're going to make the changes for dedicated, and then upload it to your Nitrado server or your GTX server or whatever it is you're using. In this case, like I said, I'm going to stick to, um, to dedicated because it's simple for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to open that with edit. And right, so what I'm going to do now is explain what all these things do so that you can find it much easier to raise the loot, lower the loot, balance the loot, change where the loot is spawning, what can, uh, you know, how much it's got in it. So we will start with, um, well, we'll start with any, let's just take this uh, AK Optic 6. So the nominal is the amount that the server is looking to put on at any one, give, uh, you know, at, at uh, any one given time. So if I said that I wanted this to be 20, the server wants there to be 20. Simple as. Now the minimum here, so oh, we'll, go, we'll go line by line. So the next one is the lifetime. This is how long it's going to survive on the server for before it goes bye bye and disappears. Obviously if the item is ruined then it ignores this lifetime and just gets rid of it. Restock is the amount that it's going to try and aim to restock every time it spawns new ones in. So if you leave this at zero it will try and respawn them in mass. So in other words, if the if, if the currently has got down to 5 on the server and you want 15, it will try and spawn all 10 at once. Whereas this restock, you can say, oh, only spawn 5 at a time. The minimum is the bottom amount of the item that's going to be on the map uh, and before it starts to spawn new ones. So if this is set to 5 and the nominal is set to 15, people take 5 of the 15 items and there are still 10 left on the, uh, on the map, it won't actually spawn any new items yet. It will wait until there are only five on the map and then spawn at the restock point. So the next one, the quantity minimum and quantity max. Now this one catches people out because this one is on a lot of things that it doesn't need to be on. This is basically the amount that is in an item. So if it's a mag, um, the amount of bullets in it. If it's, um, if it's a bottle of water, then the amount of water in it. And it's a percentage. It's a percentage between 0 and 100%. So if the item doesn't require anything like, like that, like an ACOG optic, for example, a site it doesn't have anything in it, then you use negative 0, negative 0. Cost. Cost is how, much, how important the server considers the item as. Uh, it's a percentage between 0 and 100%. At 100%, it considers it as important as every other item. Now... The lower you put that, the less likely it is to spawn these, and it will try and choose to spawn other things that have 100%. Now this next one here, it's very, very unlikely you're ever going to have to play with that. It's literally, leave it as that for everything you do. And you, you came way too advanced before you start to play with that. Next one though is a little important. Category game and usage name. Now the category game, as you can see here, is what it's going to put it under. So, in this case, the ACOG optic is spawning under weapons. So, whenever there's an area where weapons will spawn, there's a chance that this will spawn. You then have to, you then have to tell it in what kind of weapon areas. So, in this case, this has been set to military and police. So, it will spawn in areas where police loot will spawn and areas where military loot will spawn. And then the value names. Tier 3, Tier 4. 
What that's basically saying is it will only spawn in military and police areas in Tier 3 and Tier 4. Now if you were to change that for example and add, so if we were to go like this, copy that, go back into here and now add Tier 1 and Tier 2. The ACOG Optic is now going to spawn in every police station on the map and every military area on the map. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, you can also do the same with the usage name. So say I didn't want it to just spawn in military and I want this ACOG Optic to spawn, you know, in a town for example. I could go down and pick one, that's something that spawns in a town, so we have a nice quick scroll down here. Um, what have we got, what have we got, what have we got? So here we go, look, what we found is athletic shoes. We could take the usage name here, for town and school. And we could copy these out, bring it back to our ACOG optic. And we could add that into the usage name. So we could add that there. So now it's going to spawn in military areas, police areas, all the towns and specifically the schools too. <laughs> As you can imagine, you probably wouldn't want to do that with an ACOG optic, it's going to be everywhere. But this is how you can alter where and when the loot is going to spawn. So that's the most complicated way of doing it. Um, as I said in the intro, there is going to be two ways of doing it. This is the most complicated, and if you're new, I probably suggest you use the second method. The only reason you would really need to use the first method over the second method is if you need to add something. So before we move on, I'll quickly show you how we do that. What we do is we take the type, uh, the type name to type. So type name to type of an item. We copy it, and we put it back in. And then we change this type name here to whatever the name of the item is in game. So if you've downloaded a new mod and I don't know, it adds a funky plate carrier and the funky plate carrier is called DB's plate carrier, you would type DB's plate carrier in there and hey presto, that item is now in and will be in the game and will spawn naturally. If you don't want the item to spawn naturally, i.e. you're only adding it here to stop it despawning, then what you need to do is take everything in the out except the lifetime. So what that now tells it to do is, that's its name, that's how long it's going to stay on the map before it goes, and that's it. So there we go, there I've covered how to fiddle around the loot the hard way, and I've figured out how, uh, and I've uh, covered how to uh, add loot to it. So let's go for the easy method. So for the easy method, what we're going to need is we're going to need VPP admin tools installed on your server. Now, the majority of people will already have VPP admin tools installed on their server, because, let's be fair, VP admin tools is boss, and pretty much everybody uses it. But there's actually a loot editor built into VPP, which is going to make your life a lot easier. Okay, so here we are in the server, and what we're going to do is we're going to open our admin tools, obviously. And we're going to go down to the bottom here to XML Editor. Now, you must be a super admin to do this, um, and if it's your server and you're the owner, I suggest you set yourself up as a super admin. So we're going to open this, and what this is going to do is basically open the types. If we go here, look, it says it's found the types. So what we do is we... Let's go find something. Um, so, I don't know. What we found. In fact, you know what? We can search. So let's search for a can of tuna. And what we do is we load the selected. Now here it's telling us, look, everything that it's currently set to and what it does. So it actually gives you a core explanation of what each one is doing. Um, so what you can also do now is hit this one here. So it says nominal 20, minimum 15. Get item stats, and it's going to show me how many are on the map, so 20, and where they are. Oh yes, how, how ingenious is this? So what you can also now do is we can make a change. So I, I, I'm not happy with the amount of tuner. I want less tuner. I want 10 maximum, and I want 5 minimum. And now I apply the changes, and it will tell me that, that these won't take effect until the restart. It's quite right. It will not take effect. There it has it saved. It won't take effect immediately. It will take effect on the server's next restart. Which means you can sit in here playing around with as many different things as you want. So look, there should be a maximum of 40, minimum of 20. And there is 39. And it's quite a lot of barrels, sir. That's a lot of barrels. We're, we're, we're swimming in barrels here. It's all for the barrels. I don't know why you'd have that many barrels. That's just stupid. So, again, I'd go like that and apply the changes. And this works for rented and dedicated servers. Now, that is the easiest way in the world to balance your loot. It's so much easier than the, than the first method. 
Uh, and as I said at the start, the only reason I can see you using the first method is if you need to add new items to it. So you need to use that method to add the items and then you can edit them on here. I, of course, been Everyone Knows Dave, and I do hope we've helped you balance your loot and you're not swimming in barrels anymore. And I shall see you on the next one.